This is my chance to say on the record. I think this is a terrible idea. Stupid. <laughs> Bad idea. I think it's very unique. <laughs> Yeah, I thought it was really interesting and cool. It should be interesting to see the final product. One day I was thinking of what I could do for my senior documentary, and I genuinely had no idea. But then the next day, Anthony DeMeo said I should just not talk for a week, and that's what I did. Speaking is just one of those things that I feel gets taken for granted, and I wasn't sure if I could do it or not, so I asked a few people what they thought, and here are their responses. I believe he can do it because he's a strong, resilient young man and he can succeed anything he strives toward. I believe in Gabe because anything he's ever told me that he thought he could do, <coughs> he did. Uh, yeah, I think Gabe can do it. He's a, he's a strong young man. You got it. No. Yeah, no, I don't think Gabe can stop from talking, number one, because Gabe always has to have a comment for everything. You know him. So nosy. And uh, I've known Gabe for a long time. I don't, I don't think he can do it. A couple problems I faced all week were being asked questions, and if I didn't understand something, having to ask a question. During the week, I broke my clay pot in art class and couldn't even ask for a ball. I just had to use my hands. And then, for the rest of class, I just had to sit there and listen to these two go back and forth and just annoy me. In school, most classes were tough, but at least gym was easy. <sighs> One of the worst parts, I couldn't even be taken out of class to be interviewed in school. But school is nothing compared to life outside. I couldn't order at Custard Hut if I hadn't been with other people at the time. What could be worse than ordering at Custard Hut? I'll tell you, a drive through is way worse. Hello, welcome to McDonald's, how can I help you? Since I couldn't talk all week, I found typing something out on my phone was an effective means of communication. Um, I met my mom for lunch on Tuesday and she didn't seem too bothered by it, so I just used this method a lot at home during the rest of the week. Another major problem I came across was I couldn't even sing in the car, not to any song ever. On Monday, I had basketball, but I had to tell my dad I was leaving. And he sucks at reading lips, so all week I ended up playing charades with him. Um, he didn't understand that this time I needed to leave dinner early to go give people a ride to basketball. <laughs> Can you go play basketball? No. We're having dinner. You have to drive? Well, how else would you get to basketball? Fortunately. When I got into basketball, I wrote on a piece of paper saying I couldn't talk for the week and asked if he thought I could do it. Right. The rest of the ride after he answered was awkward and quiet. Uh, sure, I think you can do it. Uh. I asked a friend of mine to share his favorite story of when I would talk. Here it is. Basically, right, it was like 2 a.m. We were got really tired, all of us. So none of us were quite in the right mind. And, uh, and you, Gabe, you told a joke. And then I thought it was really funny. So, uh, and I was eating something, so I spat, spat my food out of my hand. And, and then in response to that, you started cracking up. <laughs> and I said, I uh, threw the food in the trash can. And, uh, and you started crying. So your eyes got really red and you were like, you know, you had stomach pains and stuff. And then uh, and you put that hat on in the midst of all this chaos. And I just thought it was the funniest thing in the world. I asked Kyle Sacco and Lennon Morgan about what they thought about the new game. Uh, yeah, I kind of like this game. Uh, it's a little more creative in how he motions the people. Uh, when we usually hang out, Gabe talks and he's funny, but when he doesn't talk, he's even funnier. One of the hardest parts of the week was trying not to talk when other people were trying to make me talk. Alright, so Gabe Fuchs. For five days, we tried to get him to break his uh, vow of silence. Uh, nothing really worked. Not a simple hey or uh, telling him his handles were trash. So uh, props to him. Well, we Gabe decided to not speak. And Richie and I, my son here, 
Um, we just tried to get him to talk all week. You know, I'd ask him about basketball. I'd ask him about upcoming tests. And he'd always just shake his head at me. He would text me. And then at one point, it was my birthday. And you know, I would think, Gabe, you know, we're pretty good friends. And he didn't even say happy birthday to me. He had to text me happy birthday. And that just shows the type of person that he is. So Gabe not talking was pretty annoying for me and some of the guys because Gabe's part of our group that likes to play Fortnite with us. And so he would plug in his mic and hear what we're saying. But all we would hear is faint laughter when we would get annoyed with him for not calling out enemies and directions and stuff. But surprisingly, the first game we played with him, he did not speak. We actually won. So now we have a rule when Gabe plays with us, there's zero talking whatsoever. But at the end of the week, I got to say the hardest thing to do overall was to not compliment Josh's heels. <laughs> Saturday now. I didn't talk all week. Um, it was pretty hard. It was quiet. Um, didn't have a lot of fun. Overall experience, um, I'll give it a 4.5 out of 10 million, because it was awful actually. Would not recommend it to anyone.